Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 3a minus b minus 3c equals a negative 8. Negative 5a plus 3b plus 6c equals negative 4. And negative 6a minus 4b plus c equals a negative 20. And we need to solve this by elimination. Well, I can see here, if I multiply the first equation by a negative 3 and bring the second equation, we will eliminate the a variable. So I'm going to take the top equation here, or sorry, multiply by negative 2, not by negative 3, negative 2. So I multiply the first one by a negative 2, and we get that here, negative 2 times a negative 3a is a 6a. Negative 2 times a negative b is a positive 2b. Negative 2 times a negative 3c is a positive 6c. And negative 2 times a negative 8 is a positive 16. We bring down the third equation, just bring it over here, negative 6a minus 4b plus c equals a negative 20. And now we want to add these two equations. We add them together, and well, what do we get? Well, 6a plus a negative 6a, they eliminate, hence the process. 2b plus a negative 4b is a negative 2b. 6c plus a c is a 7c. And 16 plus a negative 20 is a negative 4. All right, what else can we do here? All right, we got to find another equation. Let's try to eliminate an a again using two different equations. All right, well, well what can we do here now? All right, um, if we take our first equation, right, if we take our first equation and we actually multiply that by a negative 5, negative 5, like that's in there, negative 5, we have a positive, well, 15a, negative 5 times a negative b is a positive 5b, negative 5 times a negative 3c is a positive 15c, and negative 5 times a negative 8 is a positive 40. Then, if we take the second equation and we multiply that by a 3, here, so this one came down here, and then this one's going to go down here. By 3, we'll get a negative 15a, and that's going to start canceling out the a's. So we have a negative 15a here, multiply the 3 across, we have 9b, and then 3 times 6 is 18, so we have an 18c equals, make sure I keep my spot, <laughs> 3 times a negative 4, which is a negative 12. We now can add these two equations together. Oh, that's a b. The 15a's will eliminate. 5b plus 9b is a 14b. 15c plus 18c is a 33c. And 40 plus a negative 12 is a 28. All right, so now we have two equations here. Well, they're not exactly the same. We can't really eliminate a variable right off the bat. So we have to multiply something out here, all right? Well, if we multiply this equation by a 7, the whole thing, what do we get? Well, 7 times negative 2b is a negative 14b, and look, that's what I was trying to find the opposite of. We have 14b here. 12 parts, 7 times 7c is 49c, and 7 times a negative 4 is a negative 28. Bring this over here, and we have a 14b plus a33c equals a positive 28. Now we can add the two equations. The b's cancel. Perfect. 49c plus 33c is an 82c. Okay. Equals well, negative 28 plus 28 is just 0. They cancel each other out. Divide both sides by 82, and after all that, c is just equal to 0. All that work for that. Well, this actually makes it pretty easy. We take that c equals 0, plug it in here, and let's solve for b. 14b plus 33 times 0 equals 28. Well, 33 times 0 is 0. Perfect. 14b right here equals 28. Divide both sides by 14, and b equals a2. So we have two values. We need to find a. 
So we have to take any one of our original equations and we're going to plug in b for, uh, 2 for b and 0 for c. Uh, following my notes here, I used the first one. We take negative 3a minus our b value, which is 2. So we plug 2 in for b minus 3 times c, which is 0, equals negative 8, and we're going to solve for a. Well, negative 3a comes down, we have a minus 2 here, and negative 3 times 0 is just 0, and then equals negative 8. Add a 2 to both sides, and negative 3a equals, well, that's a negative 6, divide both sides by negative 3, and a is a positive 2. And so we have our answers here. We can write as a coordinate point. A comes first, then B. So 2, 2, then C value 0. And there we have our final answer. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 0. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use Minute Math.